If you've been told that you've got end-stage kidney failure, you may well need some form of dialysis, even if that is a bridge to having a kidney transplant. There are a number of options for dialysis, and it's important that you know your options so that you can choose which dialysis modality will fit best into your life and give you the best quality of life overall. These are the things to bear in mind when choosing a dialysis option. If your kidneys have failed, you will need to have some form of dialysis to remove toxins from your body and also to remove water. We do this with either hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis. It's really important that you know that neither form of dialysis is any better than the other medically. And you need to choose the dialysis modality that fits in best with your quality of life. Hemodialysis is where we take your blood out of your body. It goes through a dialysis machine, which is an artificial kidney that removes toxins and waste products and then returns the blood to you. We have to get the blood out of the body and this is done through either a fistula, which is a specialized vein which is created in your arm, or through a tube into a vein in your neck, which we would use in an emergency situation. Your hemodialysis needs to be done about three times a week for four hours a session. Peritoneal dialysis is slightly different. We use your abdominal cavity as the artificial kidney. In order to do this, we need to put a plastic tube into your tummy and we use that to run some fluid into your abdomen and that then works like the artificial kidney. There are two options for PD. CAPD, which is Continuous Ambulatory Peritoneal Dialysis or APD, which is Automated Peritoneal Dialysis. CAPD is where you connect to the bag, drain the fluid into your tummy and then disconnect from that bag. You go about your business during the day and whilst you're walking around, the fluid is working like an artificial kidney in your tummy. After about four to six hours, you need to drain that fluid out and put some more fluid back in. And this takes about 20 to 40 minutes at a time. APD is different. It uses a machine to drain the fluid in and out throughout the night whilst you're sleeping. During the day, you still have fluid in your abdomen, but you're not having to do any exchanges. There are a number of pros and cons to each type of dialysis, and you need to work out which one works best for you. The benefits of PD are that you can do it in your own home. It's also a flexible treatment, so you can make it work around you. You also have much more flexibility with your diet and fluid intake than with hemodialysis. And don't be afraid of PD. We teach a number of children how to do it at home. The negatives of PD are that you have to have a tube put into your abdomen. And if you've had multiple other surgeries, it may not be possible to make it work. Also, you have to do PD every day, and this can be quite tiring. Lastly, if you're diabetic, it may be more difficult to control your blood sugars if you're on peritoneal dialysis. The benefits of hemodialysis is that you do it three times a week, which means that you've got four days free. Also, you go into a medical facility and sometimes people feel reassured by this. The negatives of hemodialysis is that it is fairly rigid and you usually have to go at the same time on each slot three times a week, which makes it fairly inflexible. Also, there's limited privacy dialyzing in the unit, as there's many other people in the unit at the time that you do your dialysis. With this information, you can then make the best decision with your nephrologist as to what's going to work best for you. Once you've decided what dialysis you're going to do, you'll then be given information. If you're doing peritoneal dialysis, you'll be given the names and numbers of nurses that are going to help you through this and you will always have somebody on call 24 hours a day to help you through your dialysis. For hemodialysis, you'll be given information about time slots that are available and when you can do your dialysis. There is life with dialysis and choosing the best option for you will help you to achieve the best outcomes. If you've chosen a dialysis modality and wish to change, please speak to your healthcare provider and they'll be able to help facilitate this. Remember that choosing the dialysis that works best for you and your quality of life is the most important decision that you can make.